The leakers are still going, and we have something we seriously need to talk about based on these leaks. Let's dive in. All right, so I mentioned yesterday's video that both Kaka and Riddler Ku are still going off with their leaks for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And today we're going to take a look at kind of all the recent updates and developments, as it seems we have a very steady trickle of information coming our way as the last trailer dropped last week. Central Leaks reporting that there is a past Paradox Pokemon based on Suicune and a future Paradox Pokemon based on Virizion. However, it looks like both of them have been removed from the data and being are being saved for DLC. This actually does tie to yesterday's conversation about the fact that it does seem as though all signs are pointing towards a DLC for this game and the Pokemon company's philosophy has slightly changed to instead of focusing on a third version of the game, ultimately focus on a DLC, which is a much preferred opinion and kind of situation for me. But it also is annoying when you realize that that also means that they're just leaving things out of the main game so they can save it and sell it down the road. It's just the reality of it with video games in 2022. I have tend to not be as sensitive to it, but I can understand how it's very frustrating and uh, definitely not the coolest approach. But Pokemon did okay, I think, with Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, so I'll keep my, you know, opinions on it until, you know, I have an opportunity to play the game. Uh, we also see from Centro that there's going to be new Convergent species based on Tentacool. It's a mushroom. It evolves into another mushroom based on Tentacruel. And we knew that there was going to be a new form based on what the Riddler was saying, a Generation 1 Pokemon that walks on land. It turns out, apparently, according to Kaka, that it is going to be Tentacool and Tentacruel, which is interesting, to say the least. I was not expecting that. And Mushroom Pokemon are something that are pretty common in the franchise, with things like Shroomish and Amoongus and Fungus and... Uh, What's the other one? Uh, the, the other one. Shinotic? <laughs> There's a lot of mushroom Pokemon, so I guess we're getting another one. I don't know why they like mushroom Pokemon so much, but so be it. You can put another one in the books that's going to have Spore, I guess. Uh, not bad. I mean, I would have liked to see Krabby myself or even Lapras, but it, it kind of is what it is. Let me know your thoughts on the potential of a Tentacool or Tentacool-based uh, new Pokemon evolution. That's kinda, it's, it's not bad. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. Obviously, Suicune. Rizion potentially being shut the DLC, but other than that, I think the title cool thing is pretty dope. If you guys didn't hear, I'm actually developing my own card game and franchise called Elestrals, and I announced it about a week ago, and we've got so many people who are excited about it. It's been great. I just revealed another one of the spirits, Vipyro, and you can check out all four of the spirits on screen here. I have so much more to share with this game. If you want to follow the journey, head over to Elestrals.com, and you can check out any of the social media pages there. I've got giveaways going on on Twitter and Discord, so make sure you join those places. We have a great community. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy the updates. Back to Pokemon. <laughs> People have been asking questions to Kaka, and they asked, are there boss Pokemon in these towers? And they responded with like a little uh, coin and a question mark. And it seems as though these towers, which we immediately thought might have to do with gyms initially from the trailer too, seem to be tied to treasure, right? I mean, there was obviously a very big theme with treasure, treasure hunting in the most recent trailer. There was also the idea that in the first trailer, there was obviously treasure on the ground in that room of relics and kind of oddities. So clearly treasure is a part of this. And then the Riddler themselves had kind of hinted at the fact that there's a coin Pokemon or some sort of a treasure-like Pokemon that's important in this game. So it seems as though we might be researching that as one of the quests. I could very much so be along the lines of how the Zygarde quest was, but being more integral to the storyline as one of the three main storylines we know we're going to go on. Uh, so we'll wait and see, but it seems as though these towers are ultimately related to that. Yesterday we reported on a potential sushi Pokemon and based on what the leaker is saying is that it's a single stage It is not uh, an evolution. So we've got this really cool fan art here uh, of, of a sushi Pokemon But it seems as though it is going to be a single stage sushi dragon a dragon roll perhaps and um, I, I saw the comments people were not happy to hear that I'm not a big sushi guy. It's not that I have anything against sushi. It's just like things that smell like fish uh, <laughs> just doesn't do it for me I do eat like crab and, uh, and and calamari I like calamari quite a bit but sushi's not my thing the Riddler comes out and says E4 with a picture of one of the guys from the trailer so it seems that this guy was a little red tie his little coat and his hair slicked on down is an elite four member so we do know from the leaks that the elite four member does not have any uh, new types it's all been types that we've seen before in the elite four apparently so if you guys had to guess what type he would be, let me know. He gives me dragon vibes. I don't know why. I mean, he just does. He doesn't look like he associates with any particular type outside of dragon. So I'm gonna just say dragon. But maybe he's normal. I don't know. You guys let me know. But then that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. You guys let me know if you have any thoughts. 
Pokey Crafty actually put this out on the internet. I thought this was quite interesting, but uh, basically on the map, there's these four particular color towers, right? You've got the different towers spread out on different parts of the map. What do these towers have to do with? And some people are speculating that maybe this has to do with the legendaries. We know from leaks and rumors that there's going to be a set of legendary Pokemon, much like the Tapus, where there's four of them, or like the Justice Trio with Keldeo. Where there's four of that you know what i mean like four legendaries so instead of three legendary dogs or whatever or birds you have a group of four legendaries and that's going to be apparently a thing in this game do these towers have anything to do with it and then we got our, our uh, awesome translator poke sutami says are the lighthouses to the sub legendaries it feels odd to emphasize color like this and apparently the leaker said no connection it does it have to do with the story and they gave the uh hmm emoji so maybe it has to do with the story but apparently these towers do not have anything to do with the legendaries based on kind of what we're seeing at this point in time from the leaks and this is the biggest topic that i wanted to talk about today that i was uh really sad to see is they asked are the special hats for certain pokemon or are there special hats for certain pokemon when using the gimmick so we know that each of these pokemon get these little hats right so depending on the type you could have a chandelure with a chandelier on its head a candelabra right you could have a uh, pan pour with a water fountain on his head which is funny a drift blim with balloons on its head i i don't like the hats guys um but i was holding out for the hope that there was going to be different hats for special pokemon like mega evolution is a form change like gigantamax is a form change for dynamax i was hoping we would get different hats so like a select group of pokemon had a cool hat even select group of pokemon had special z moves and apparently based on these leaks that's not going to be the case apparently it's not gonna be the case I have a hard time believing it, right? I, I, I just gave you the track record. Z moves, Mega. I mean, every gimmick they've done, it seems, they've added uh, a way to customize or specialize certain Pokemon so they could be identifiers. They have a different form of it. Apparently, these hats. Maybe, maybe they change form, but the hats are the same. I don't know. I would think that they would have different hats, though. Apparently, they don't. If that's the case, I'm very disappointed about the hat thing. I'm very disappointed about it. Let me know your thoughts on that. The mechanic idea of Terrastal has kind of grown on me a little bit. Still not my favorite thing, but again, I'm open to it. I'll try to stay open to it. But I really wanted special hats, man, or at least special forms. The crystals on them look really cool. The particle effects when they attack look really cool. Give me special hats, please. So that's pretty much that. Your leak update, news update, and everything in between for Pokemon for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Don't forget to check out my awesome project, Elestrals. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting that. We've been having a blast as we work towards our Kickstarter campaign. And let me know your thoughts on Tentacruel, DLC, Terrastal Mechanics, and everything in between in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.